Welcome back to my channel, mother suckers. Hey, so y'all, I have an update on Somalian Brickgate. Y'all remember Ro, the woman that came out claiming that she was hit in the head with a brick and that the onlookers were all men who did nothing about it. She lit a match under the gender wars after releasing this video as proof. Grab the rock and it hit me in my fucking face because I would have given her my number. What about and all y'all just fucking watched. Most women were inclined to believe her while most men were in disbelief. However, when this guy came out to say that yes, this did happen to her, I was there, I saw, and I didn't help because she's online slapping white men and if she was to get hit with a brick again, I would stand by and watched. Males believed this guy, women didn't believe him. <laughs> Y'all see the pattern, okay. So it came out that this guy was actually lying. His girlfriend or ex-girlfriend came out to say that, y'all, he don't even live in that state. He don't live in Texas. He don't know that lady. He just wanted some attention. He just wanted to stir some shit up. And yeah, no. But one thing about the internet, she never forgets and she always has receipts. So someone found this video of Ro back in 2020. I want y'all to check this out. I'm trying to be a doctor and they're mad. Look what they did to me. Look what they did to me for no reason. They don't beat me up. I'm 30 years old. They're going to beat me up. Grown ass niggas try to beat me up. Grown ass niggas try to beat me up for no reason. Look at me. I'm not a bad person. Y'all know that. Y'all know I'm a good person. And they try to do this to me. They gave me a real good shot of them. Grown ass niggas. Over fucking six feet tall. Now this video is very similar to the 2023 video where she's outside, she's pointing at her face, she's saying they hit my face, they hit my face. We have no idea who hit her face, but she's telling us that some man hit her face. There's some man that is after her, that's attacking her, who keeps hitting her face. So she created a GoFundMe and her previous GoFundMes were then exposed. So apparently she has made about four GoFundMes at this point. And if you look at the one from August 2nd, 2020, here we have a fraud. It says, my good friend Rhoda was viciously attacked with a brick by a man she refused to give her number. She was surrounded by onlookers who stood by and did nothing to help her, not even calling an ambulance. The video is now viral all over Twitter, IG, and TikTok. Rhoda is a single mother and a student. She is a beautiful person who is always there for others. Because of this vicious attack, she will have to manage hospital bills, therapy, and time away from work, school, and children while she heals mentally and physically. Unfortunately, no one stepped in to help her that night. It would mean so much if we could step up and help her as she heals. Rhoda asked me to share the video that's gone viral. Please share and support. And so this is evidence to me that says there's some delusion and fuckery going on because there's no way that in 2020, you got hit with a brick, it went viral, you created a GoFundMe, and then in 2023, you got hit with a brick again, and it went viral again and you put up another GoFundMe. See, we not. I'm not finna play with you, Rhoda. I'm not finna do that. It's giving you tried this in 2020, you didn't get enough money from it. So with the climate of today's society, with the gender wars and diasporas brewing like coffee, honey, you decided, you know what? Let me try that again and see if I could hit a lick. And she hit $41,000 behind this fraudulent situation. People are saying that she has something injected into her face or that it was an allergic reaction to something. Child, I wouldn't be surprised if she hit her own goddamn self in the head with a brick. I hit up one of my friends who's a medical physician and I said, are medical observations correct on this one? Is this an allergy reaction? I had saw something on Spiritual World that said that it was an allergy reaction or something injected into her face. And my friend said, hey boo, yes, it could be an allergic reaction. I saw footage of her doing this in 2020 also. So that's when I began to dig into what was going on in 2020. She did say that she's a medical student. I don't know if we can believe that, but she did say she's a medical student, which means she could have had some type of access to something that she could inject into her face. Anybody who's inject injecting anything into their face to create a whole public fraud needs to be in a psych ward. I said what I said. So after the rug has been pulled from under her feet, you got people coming out saying they're her ex-best friend and she pulls these type of schemes all the time. Y'all, I don't know who to believe. I don't know what to believe, okay? But Rhoda did come back out to show some quote unquote receipts where she's showing that she did file a police report and she did seek medical attention.
cap. Now, personally, I can't believe a bunch of documents where things are crossed out, blocked off, erased, hidden behind pens and papers. I can't believe none of this information because you could have just printed this out. It could have been anything and anyone. You can literally go online and find these types of documents. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't believe that she filed a police report because she did not want the legal ramifications that come with filing a false criminal act. However, there still needs to be some type of punishment for people who come out and lie about assault. She lied not once, not twice, multiple times, created multiple GoFundMes. It's just really sad that she's abusing resources and abusing women who just want to create a safe space for other women. Like, it's really crazy how she could do something like this. Allegedly, child, allegedly. But y'all let me know your thoughts on this whole unfortunate situation. Let me know if you never believed her from the beginning. Let me know if you no longer believe her now. And let me know if you still actually believe her. There's people that actually still believe that this woman was attacked. And everybody has a right to believe what they want. But me personally, I'm not gonna go just on emotion. I want to follow the receipts. I wanna follow what makes sense. And I'm sorry, the math ain't mathing for me. I support black women, but I also support the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help me god ain't no way on god's green earth you getting hit with a brick twice what's going on with you because now seriously what what are you doing and where are you at that men are constantly tossing bricks your way and if that is the truth that you are constantly getting bricks tossed at you there needs to be real reports not coming to social media in a frenzy saying look what these men did look what these men did you need to be in a protection program so this is the update i'll come back again if there's more information that comes out at this point with all of these social experiments and people just wanting to go viral people just wanting to get money it's going to be really hard for actual victims to be believed we keep saying this and for this woman to be a dark-skinned african woman shame 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 on you africans were catching strays behind this black men were catching strays behind this those guys that were there were catching strays behind this. Come I'm gonna turn my face, y'all. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all at the next one. Later. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face.